The most exciting moment is when they can clearly articulate what they're working on, how it's special and unique to them, and from a motivation perspective, how they had some say in what they're working on. And I uh, happened upon a book called Inevitable, simply read it cover to cover, and that moment it really fundamentally changed the way I looked at public education. The future of learning in Central York is that there's always this traditional approach, there will always be this self-paced online version, if that's how you learn best, for maybe this subject, but not all. And then in between all of those points are various blended and hybrid options. So there is that little bit of motivation, a little bit of freedom uh, that you don't see in a typical classroom in public education. Years ago, I could somewhat predict the learners that were going to have the most success in school, and they seemed to be the learners who could sit and just absorb information like a sponge. The educational experience for all of our learners needs to be customized. Every learner is unique, not just academically, but socially, emotionally. There's still a place in a customized learning environment for a child to sit and memorize and learn facts if that's something that they enjoy but we're seeing uh, the needs of a great number more learners being met as a result of the way that we are customizing the experience. For me, it is a way of teaching so that the students are getting what they need individually. Collaboration, creativity, creative thinking, problem solving, those skills are so important now in so many jobs and I think it's important for us to provide experiences and opportunities, even at this young level, kindergarten, first, second, third grade, for students to start to tap into those skills as well and practice those things as well. It's showing me out of the box thinking and I think that's my biggest goal as a teacher, to um, make them out of the box thinkers and problem solvers. We have another group that really enjoys writing. They have been pumping out stories to showcase the different learner work that's going on in the school. I like making videos and keynotes and we have Google Drive. This explains like everyone on the team, we all wrote our own bio about ourselves and then there's uh, me and then there's Hannah. It's like an extracurriculum kind of learning thing, you can't learn it right from writing, you gotta be like in there and writing stories. It's a more uh, thinking process for me because they might say, I have this idea, I would like to do it, and I have to think on the fly, okay, what can I do in order to get them to that goal? The first day that Ms. Thompson told me that I was gonna read in a second grade level, I was nervous, but that when the first day I went in, it was a kind of fun. Because you get to learn with people not in your grade level. So it's kind of breaking down those walls of um, grades and allowing us to look at our students in more of just a continuum of their learning. Basically you're taking what used to be a typical first grade classroom, second grade classroom, third grade classroom that are separated and you're allowing for more movement to happen between those levels. Um, it makes me feel like I'm a leader. Some days I go to um, kindergarten to help the kindergartners like spell their words and stuff. I don't want people to feel like bad about themselves so I help them so they can be like equal or higher. The student engagement has just soared. We found that you know when students get to choose not necessarily the topic they want to work on but how they want to take on that topic, we have found the engagement to that activity or to that assignment has grown immensely. Now it's not uncommon to have six, seven learners in each classroom who want to do some special project and it is not our job to get in their way. It is our job to help them reach their hopes and dreams of finding out about robots, about finding out about the life cycle of any particular animal, about finding out about things in their world that they want to know.